this surgery is a life-changing surgery that I would go over and do again personally. I'm eating to live. I'm not living to eat anymore. I've come to the conclusion that, that Dr. Corman and Bridget and Helen and those folks are probably the best at what they're doing. I'm very happy with what I did. And am I living my life now? Yeah. I'm living it very well. This is just an amazing opportunity that is given to us and it's here for a reason. And it's something that will make your life much better and people around you so much happier because you'll be participating in their life again. My brother chose to have the surgery and I thought I would research it and I went to some conventions and I noticed on the board sitting at the convention they started talking about comorbidity diseases and as, this, as it was scrolling down I identified a lot of it with my brother but then I started seeing myself in a lot of it and I think that's where the reality hit me. I was getting tired of being fat. I was just huge and getting tired of that and uh, so my friends were becoming concerned about my weight and my health. I had gone through many diets through all my life and gone on and on and on and lost 20 pounds, put on 20 pounds and this, this has been a long, long time in, in my life I've been doing this. I knew I wanted to always have a family and I knew I couldn't even think about trying to conceive having a child, being pregnant, being so heavy. So um, I wanted to do it so I would be able to have a long life with my children that I hopefully will have in the future and with my husband. Last year we went camping with the kids and um, the kids and some friends of ours went hiking and I got to experience that hiking trip through via pictures because I wasn't able to go. The kids went hiking, took the digital camera, came back and I got to sell the pictures of what they saw and I missed that experience with them and my wife. I had gout and I had high cholesterol, depression, a lot of things that I didn't know at the time were comorbidity, it just became a way of life. I had really severe, extremely severe sleep apnea, uh, I had high blood pressure, joint pain. I was taking so much medication that uh, I looked like a walking pharmacy. I spent most of my time alone. If I wasn't at work, I was basically by myself because uh, I didn't feel comfortable uh, imposing my girth on other people in social situations. There was a lot of time where my husband did things with my girls and I stood on the side and watched. And I really didn't think at the time that I wasn't participating because I was, I was there, but I realized like even going to amusement parks, I never went on rides because I didn't fit on rides. I had other consultations other places, but even just with the initial phone conversations that I had, um, didn't get that warm fuzzy feeling and felt like it was just going to be like a cattle call. And when I met Dr. Corman, I almost didn't even have to search anywhere else. That He made me feel very comfortable. He listened to all my questions. He answered all my questions. Um, he didn't rush me out. It was really getting to know Nikki and not getting to know just another patient that he needed to operate on. He had all the credentials I was looking for and then he had this extra part of him this human heart, he was genuinely concerned about me and my family and how we were going to deal with all this and I knew I wasn't going to be alone through this. I knew that he was going to be there for me. We went, uh, heard the testimonies, heard the talk show host speak and heard the doctor speak and he had a genuine concern for people and that made my final decision. The state-of-the-art equipment for the surgery, uh, the, you know, they got the goggles, they can have stereo vision right there in front of their eyes, it's not a monitor across the room. You know, they've got the best equipment for that part. So at, at this point, being eight weeks out of my surgery, I'm absolutely looking forward to um, spending that activity and spending that energy now with my children, my wife, um, not worrying about um, being exhausted. I don't have to go into a restaurant and scan out what seats can I fit in. 
I don't have to scan out the seats that don't have arms in it. I can sit in a chair. I can shop. I can fit in clothes. I went to the amusement park, sat on the ride with my daughter. I was exhilarated. I felt like I was alive. I'm a part of life and I'm not the spectator anymore. Any physical activity I can do a lot longer, faster, harder, whatever you want, How you know, if it's cardio on a machine, I couldn't even do that. I was, when I decided to have the surgery, I was 400 pounds. I could barely walk to the car. Now, I, when I do cardio, I do a half hour of cardio and a half hour of weight training uh, a day, uh, four or five days a week. My back doesn't hurt, my ankles don't hurt, I can move around a lot easier, and I can actually wear things that look good versus wear things that just cover up my body. Now I can walk into any store I want to and buy whatever clothes I want to buy. I have more energy now hardly eating versus eating over 3,000 calories a day and feeling lethargic and not wanting to move around. It's a great feeling. It's an unbelievable feeling. I spend a lot less time sitting in front of the computer playing games and I've got friends, I've got a girlfriend, I'm having fun and doing a lot of things outside of my apartment. I went on a cruise this summer with my husband and we were with a bunch of couples and I was just having fun, just want to experience everything. And this one particular moment when I came in was a formal night for dinner and I walked in the room, he was from afar and I noticed he was staring I'm looking around wondering who's he staring with and it was me. He was staring at me and I just was so emotional because it's never been that he hasn't loved me and he loved me no matter what I look like. But he said, he goes, you are so happy inside and I love that part of you and I know that you feel good about yourself and I do, I do. I felt good before but I feel unbelievable now. If you're thinking about having the surgery, if you're thinking about gastric bypass, you got to remember that it's a tool. It's not uh, a magic pill. It's not something that once you have it, you magically lose the weight. It's a commitment beyond just signing up for a surgery. It's a commitment of a lifestyle change, of an attitude. It's, it's you have to go in with an attitude that I'm going to succeed at this. I am going to do what he tells me to do. You have to be just as committed to do this. You know, I went through a lot of things in, in, after this surgery, but I don't remember ever thinking or thinking in my mind that I regretted doing it because I saw the, the results immediately of losing weight. As much as I love my husband and my girls, I had to make this decision for me. And I had to start taking control of my life. And the main thing I tell people is, quit acting like a victim. You're not a victim to your life. Take charge of it. This is your only, your one chance, your one life to have. You can't go back and change everything, but you can hopefully change the future if you work on the present. This is going to change your whole life. Physically, it's going to change you because you're going to be able to do things. You'll feel more better about yourself. If you get your mind in the right spot, do it. You have to get your mind in the right spot first. I don't think there's anybody out there that, that can experience a life-changing experience like this and not recommend it. I'm very happy that I had this surgery and I, I, I'm just ex so excited that it was possible and I'm doing well and I can't imagine being even happier. There's so much more attached to this and you don't realize it going in because you think it's all about the food, but then after you are in it, you realize it has nothing to do with the food and it has everything to do with yourself and you really, you're challenging yourself in areas that you may never have done before. I was so pleasantly surprised with uh, Dr. Corman and Bridget and I gotta tell you the hospital itself was wonderful. The staff that, uh, that they have in the bariatric wards, they are the most caring people that I've ever seen in a hospital. Everybody is very supportive and everybody is, uh, you know, they cheer your successes and they encourage you when you fall back a little bit and they're always positive. They can identify that it's, it's painful to be an obese person and it's painful to go through this process, um, but it's not unbearable and I just, I could not imagine going through without the support that I had. It, what they provide is priceless to me. It is priceless and it has made the journey that much more um, fulfilling to me.